Hey fam, I'm back because I just want to discuss this particular topic and I would love some feedback because I think we fit in these two categories, mask wearers and non-mask wearers, vaccine takers and non-vaccine takers. Now, I respect whatever people's choices are because the Father gave us the option to choose however we want to live, right? And if the God Almighty gave us this option, who am I to uh, fight or disagree with people? Excuse me, boss. But I'm just going to look at this particular thing. We're doing DoorDash, right? This is a way of making extra money. And it's funny to me that a lot of people who put in their order will be very frightened if you don't have your mask on or they'll tell you to leave the uh, delivery at the door, right? Which is most popular. A lot of times people can have babies and maybe they don't want their babies to be awakened so they ask you not to ring the bell and leave the food outside. That's fine. Well, however you want it, you're going to get it. I'm just trying to earn a couple of dollars. But what I find funny is the people who are really nervous about this virus that they're even ordering food that other people breathed on, maybe spat on, cooked, maybe touched with dirty hands, maybe talking over. Because every time I go to these restaurants, and I'm just going to put it out there. I go to restaurants, I see people speaking over the food all the time. All the time. People are conversing, talking, they're leaning over the food. I see people's hands with gloves on it, touching the register, and then going back, touching food. I see all kinds of stuff that should deter us from eating out, period, right? Now, if you're scared of this deadly disease, why are you ordering out? Can somebody please explain that to me? Why are you ordering out if you're so frightened of getting sick? Somebody tell me. Come on now. I need somebody, I need some answers. Somebody get up on there and explain to me if you're the person that is really fearful of this disease are you still ordering food because I find that extremely odd so much stuff is going on we cannot escape every germ we cannot we actually need germs to um to strengthen our immune system so I'm trying to figure out what are we really frightened of what you got to say? You can pause it, right? No, you can say whatever you got to say. No pausing. We raw here. We raw. Ask about the six feet. If it's supposed to be six feet, why you still got on the mask? <laughs> well, we're not going to get and deep in, in it. The, you in the car. That's six yeah, feet. Yeah, people away. in their cars alone with the mask on. That's some real fear. I just can't. I'm not knocking y'all. Y'all do what you want. But it's it's so strange. You're in your own car, and I've seen people with those blue gloves on and the mask. You are living in high fear gear, like high fear gear. I can't believe it. By yourself, you're in your car alone. I mean, is the virus in your car? And I'm not making fun, because this thing is serious. I'm not making fun. And I'm not talking about the seriousness of the so-called virus. I mean the fear that people have is serious because fear paralyzes you and you can't live freely you're just scared to death you're gonna kill yourself with the fear you're gonna make your pressure high your stress levels high you make yourself sick being fearful like that and so I'm just it's just a question that I pose it's something I'm observing and I just realized that in life there's always something that separates us as people we're always divided i mean in every aspect from religion to government to now this corona should i wear a mask i don't want to wear a mask we're divided in every way it just trickles down it's incredible <laughs> it's incredible and then how what whatever our stance is we always believe our stance is right and we're angry with anybody who don't agree with the way we live we have to stop this foolishness because people have the freedom to choose whatever they want and yes we all have our views and we do comment about the person on the other side we think the other people are stupid right that's how we are if you're not wearing a mask oh you're so stupid you're the cause of the disease really i'm the non-mask wearer i'm just saying and then on the other point we look at you with the mask on and we like, my God, they're so fearful. They're so frightened. So it's always something to judge one another. 
I'm just looking at it. When all in all, we can choose to live however we want because that's our God-given right. But when it comes to food, does it make sense if you're so nervous about catching this thing? Is it sensible to buy food from outside? When people spit and talk over your food, they touch things, you don't know what they're doing, digging in their nose, right? We're so scared of this thing. So why would you order food? I'm so confused. You should be cooking your own food. Make sure you everything is safe in your own home, cleaning it properly, keep your own home clean, stuff like that. I don't get it. What you guys say, boo? So leave a comment. To explain to me about the six feet thing. I don't understand. <laughs> He's into the six feet thing. He's saying if six feet is what keeps us safe from getting this disease, when I find that stupid because a breeze can blow it, right? Let's say somebody cough or sneeze. Can't a breeze blow that around? There's so much stuff about this thing that's so illogical to me that... I just get turned off with the conversation. The only reason why I brought it up today was because I'm watching people be fearful. Now, I'm in my car. You don't know what I'm doing in my car. I can sneeze. I can cough. Things happen. So I'm touching your bag, your cup with your drink in it. You're going to touch that too. Are you going to sit there and wash all that stuff down or spray it with Lysol before you open it? Then when you touch the food, those people who work in these restaurants have talked over it. Like I said, I done said it already. So... Does it make sense? I'm just, I, I just want some answers. I want to know what you think. What's your opinion? Talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about it. What you got to say again? And, and leave a comment once again on the six, the feet, six feet. Because everything that surrounds us is wind. Wind blows everything around. If you six feet and you go from beyond that, is that reasonable to take your mask off? Right. It's just so it just it's just really senseless. It really is. My thing is we need to eat right. That's the main thing that we're focused on. Our way of living is what makes us sick. Not sleeping enough. And I'm guilty of that. I'm going through menopause, so I suffer with a lot of sleeplessness. But when we rest, that rejuvenates the body. It replenishes the body. So we need to sleep. We need to exercise to release the um toxins from our body through sweat we need to put in good food so that when we catch anything it could be a low level of it and you can survive and live to tell the story so we're looking at things that's so ridiculous people are eating anything these same people who are fearful are buying garbage to eat so you're not taking care of your health i had somebody on the job i thought this was funny and he said, hey, because we call each other twin. And he said, hey, twin, where your mask at? That's when I was working. This was in, like, maybe October of last year. And he was like, where's your mask at, twin? But then he come outside, took off his mask, and started puffing on a cigarette. So I look at him and I go, twin, really? You know this thing is damaging to the lungs, right? I said, so why would you be smoking cigarettes but then turn around and put on a mask? Now, you see the logic? But this is just showing you how we are as people. We always think the stance that we're in is the sensible stance. You know, it's like he thought I should have on a mask. I choose to breathe. You know, until they made it mandatory, I choose to breathe. I cannot. First of all, I'm menopausal. I'm just going to tell you my story. I, I'm suffocating in a mask. Automatically, it puts me in a steamy <laughs> situation. I can't breathe. I start sweating. I'm not doing it. I will pass out. I will pass out from, from being hot. I'm not doing it. So when it was mand made mandatory, I, I couldn't do it. But that's what I'm saying. That's my situation. That's my stance. His stance is, I don't want to get sick. But then he's always eating garbage. Always eating garbage and smoking weed and smoking cigarettes. Now you tell me what's more logical. But this is the thing about us. We're just strange like that. What else, babe? Um, who is the real villain? Village. Village. The, the word I'm trying to use for the enemy. Oh, Eat, villain? Right. <laughs> yeah, who's the real villain? Right. Eat, the eating bad habit that caused uh, you to be getting sick along with the virus or being healthy. 
and eating right instead of thinking that you need a mask or a vaccine or for a that vaccine. matter it's just something that, like I say, I'm not knocking y'all. You do what you want, because that's what we've been doing. We always gonna do what we want, whether it makes sense. It's about a belief system. Whatever we believe, we were, we were convinced of something, and that's what causes us to believe it. How well somebody can convince us of things is what is what's caused us to have a belief system. Oh, we got something. Oh no. Mm -mm. <laughs> now right now, people are ordering Popeyes. It's just crazy. Even it's you know what's funny? I'm so conscious about a lot of stuff, and I'm gonna share this with y'all. We need extra money right now because my boo experienced a bad injury. Some of you already know he's healing from it, and he'll be going back to work soon. I'm home. I have a few reasons for being home. My daughter moved in. I was helping her with the baby, and then I'm then I had to help my husband recover. So he's doing well now. So this is something that we do for extra money, right? Because we have to fill in the gaps. Bills got to be paid every four weeks. I mentioned it to my younger daughter, Nakira. I said, I don't even think we should be delivering this crap to people. Because I feel like I'm a party to their eating, you know, poor, poorly. Eating poorly. And I don't even want to be a part of that. So it's like, you know, you're weighing your options here. Because it's like, this is an easy way to make ca cash, you know. And you see it the, the day after. When you're making money, you know, you earn the money during the day, you see it the next day. By 12 o'clock a.m., it's in your account. And so it's an easy way, dashing for cash, right? But I'm looking at the whole picture. I don't even want to participate in this because people are buying garbage. And these same people who are afraid of getting sick are not even thinking about clogging up their arteries, getting heart disease, high blood pressure, having a stroke. Why are you not afraid of those things? Why are you not afraid of those things? Why are you not afraid of taking pills that have a billion and one side effects? But you're scared of this lady here because she's not wearing a mask. I, I, uh, I'm baffled, y'all. So if y'all got something to say, say it. Because I'm willing to listen. And I want to hear somebody make sense out of this thing for me. Because it's really strange to me. Like I said, we all have our stance on certain topics and situations, but it's just strange to me. Anyway, family, peace, love, and blessings. Leave a comment. I want to hear from you. Please. I'm begging you. Yeah, me too. Let's have this conversation.